Daily Words of God Have no misgivings about the trials of God. After receiving testimony from Job following the end of his trials, God resolved that he would gain a group, or more than a group, of people like Job. Yet he resolved to never again allow Satan to attack or abuse any other person using the means by which it had tempted, attacked, and abused Job by betting with God. God did not permit Satan to ever again do such things to man, who is weak, foolish, and ignorant. It was enough that Satan had tempted Job. Not permitting Satan to abuse people howsoever it wishes is the mercy of God. For God, it was enough that Job had suffered the temptation and abuse of Satan. God did not permit Satan to ever again do such things. For the lives and everything of people who follow God are ruled and orchestrated by God. And Satan is not entitled to manipulate God's chosen ones at will. You should be clear about this point. God cares about man's weakness and understands his foolishness and ignorance. Although, in order that man could be completely saved, God has to hand him over to Satan. God is not willing to see man ever played with as a toy by Satan and abused by Satan, and he does not want to see man always suffering. Man was created by God, and it is perfectly justified that God rules and arranges everything of man. This is the responsibility of God and the authority by which God rules all things. God does not permit Satan to abuse and mistreat man at will. He does not permit Satan to employ various means to lead man astray, and moreover, he does not permit Satan to intervene in God's sovereignty of man. Nor does he allow Satan to trample and destroy the laws by which God rules all things, to say nothing of God's great work of managing and saving mankind. Those whom God wishes to save, and those who are able to bear testimony to God, are the core and the crystallization of the work of God's 6,000-year management plan, as well as the price of His efforts in His 6,000 years of work. How could God casually give these people to Satan? People often worry about and are fearful of the trials of God, yet at all times they are living in Satan's snare and living in perilous territory in which they are attacked and abused by Satan. Yet they know not fear and are unperturbed. What is going on? Man's faith in God is only limited to the things he can see. He has not the slightest appreciation of God's love and concern for man, or of his tenderness and consideration toward man. But for a little trepidation and fear about God's trials, judgment and chastisement, and majesty and wrath, man has not the slightest understanding of God's good intentions. At the mention of trials, people feel as if God has ulterior motives, and some even believe that God harbors evil designs, unaware of what God will actually do to them. Thus, at the same time as crying out obedience to God's sovereignty and arrangements, they do all they can to resist and oppose God's sovereignty over man and arrangements for man. For they believe that if they are not careful, they will be misled by God. That if they don't keep a grip on their own fate, then all that they have could be taken by God, and their life could even be ended. Man is in Satan's camp, but he never worries about being abused by Satan. And he is abused by Satan 
but never fears being taken captive by Satan. He keeps saying that he accepts God's salvation, yet has never trusted in God or believed that God will truly save man from the claws of Satan. If, like Job, man is able to submit to God's orchestrations and arrangements and can give his entire being to the hands of God, then will man's end not be the same as Job's, the receipt of God's blessings? If man is able to accept and submit to God's rule, what is there to lose? And thus, I suggest that you be careful in your actions and cautious toward everything that is about to come upon you. Do not be rash or impulsive and do not treat God and the people, matters, and objects He has arranged for you as the urge takes you or according to your natural self, or your imaginations and conceptions. You must be cautious in your actions and must pray and seek more to avoid inciting the wrath of God. Remember this.